Commandants, commanders, heads of military, paramilitary security, and paramilitary agencies and establishments, your excellencies, members of the diplomatic corps, general officers commanding, flag officers commanding, air officers commanding here present, principal staff officers of the defense headquarters and naval headquarters here present, president and members of the six regular corps. Association, captains of industries, corporate friends of the Nigerian Navy, very senior officers, both serving and retired, other distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I want to crave the indulgence of all our eminently invited guests to please settle into their seats as any moment from now we will be commencing the proceedings for the Chief of the Naval Staff's annual conference. 2021. Admiral Howard Zuberi Gambo, Admiralty Medal, Grand Service Star, You're welcome, sir. You may please be seated. Oladayo Amaho, Distinguished Flying Star, Grand Service Star, you're welcome, sir. May please be seated. Yo. We are indeed delighted to have you in our missile. It's my singular honor and privilege to announce the, chief, the arrival of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, Nigerian Army Medal, Grand Service Star, Past Staff Course Daga. You're welcome, sir. May you please be seated.
It is my singular honor and privilege to announce the arrival of the Chief of Defense Staff, General Leo Irabo, Nigerian Army Medal, Grand Service Star, Past Staff Course, Fellow National Defense College, Field Medal of Honors, Field Command Medal of Honor. You're welcome, sir. Announcing the arrival of the Chief of Defense Staff, General Leo Irabo, Nigerian Army Medal. You're welcome, sir. May we please be seated. AIG Zone 1 headquarters here in Kano. You're welcome, sir. Any moment from now, we'll be expecting the arrival of the special guest of honor. The arrival of the special guest of honor will signify the commencement of today's event proper. Once again, permit me to make the following announcement. The ushers are on hand to direct um, we are indeed delighted to have you here, Ma. Also permit me to recognize the parents in our midst of the representative of the administrator, Presidential Amnesty Program, Fly Lieutenant Retired Terry Ajebona. You are welcome, sir. Permit me to announce the arrival of the Chairman Senate Committee on Navy, distinguished Senator Elisha Abu. And the Chairman, House Committee on Navy, Honorable Yusuf Gaddi. You're welcome, sirs. Very senior officers, eminent, distinguished, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, any moment from now, the special guest of honor for today's event will be joining us in the arena. The special guest of honor for today's event is His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kanu State, Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje OFR. I crave the indulgence of the audience to please rise when the national anthem is being played. Announcing the arrival of the special guest of, of honor for today's event is Excellency the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje, Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic.
You are welcome, sir. This event is Excellency the Executive Governor of Kanu State, Dr. Abdullah Umar Gandije, Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic. His Excellency the Deputy Governor of Kanu State, Dr. Nasiru Gauna, the Honorable Speaker, Kanu State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Amisu Ibrahim Chideri. Chairman Senate Committee on the Navy and Chairman House Committee on the Navy, distinguished members of the state and national assemblies here present, the Chief of Defense Staff, our host, the Chief of the Naval Staff, Service Chiefs, and the representative of the Inspector General of Police, our Royal Fathers, the Emirs of Kano, Bichi, Gaia, Rano, and Karaye, former Chiefs of Defense Staff here present, former chiefs of the naval staffs and icons of the Nigerian Navy, distinguished members of the Kano State Executive Council, the former governor of Kano State, His Excellency Air Vice Marshal M.N. Umaru, former governor of Jigawa State, the group managing director, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, commandants, commanders, and heads of military, paramilitary, security agencies and establishments here present, your Excellencies, members of a diplomatic corps, general officers commanding, flag officers commanding, and air officers commanding here present, principal staff officers of defense headquarters and naval headquarters, president and members of the 36th Regular Course Association, captains of industries and corporate friends of the Nigerian Navy, senior officers, both serving and retired, our eminent distinguished invited guest, ladies and gentlemen, I am Commander Abiodun Folonsho, the Master of Ceremony for today's event. Before we commence the event proper, we will start with the opening prayer. And to perform this function, permit me to invite Captain T.M. Gidado, the Acting Director, Naval Directorate of Islamic Affairs, 
and Captain BME Ajayi, the Acting Director, Naval Directorate of Chaplain Protestant, to move the opening prayers. Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Shall we pray? As we bow our heads in in unison and bow our heads in humility, Almighty Allah, we praise your holy name in a manner that is befitting of your majestic essence and the greatness of your power. O oh Allah, you deserve all our praises and gratitude, and unto you alone is a final return. This morning, as we are here gathered to deliberate on how to enhance Nigeria's maritime security for improved national prosperity, O oh Allah, we ask thee for guidance. We ask thee for mercy. As we deliberate, O oh Allah, we can't on our own do anything. O oh Allah, we can't on our own protect anything. We therefore trust in you to guide our steps aright. Protect us against all evil. Protect our nation against all evil. And grant us success in our ways and our operations. O oh Allah, we trust in you alone. But there is no like unto you in the heavens and on earth. You are our Lord and Creator. We trust in you as we begin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al aliyil azim. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Subhan Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-Mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. We are still in section of prayer. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, our Father and our Lord, thank you for the grace to gather here together again. We thank you for the success of yesterday. We are anticipating the success of today. Father, we give all the glory, all the honor, and adoration to your holy name. Receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our Father, we pray. If you are not in our means, our gathering will be in vain. Lord, we ask for the success of today. To give you the glory, to give you the honor, to give you the adoration. Thank you in anticipation of the success of today. We pray and ask this and many more. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I haven't set the tone for the um, opening ceremony. We will now be listening to the safety brief. The safety brief shall detail the guidelines and procedures in the unlikely event of an emergency of fire or so that we know the procedure we will be taking to evacuate the hall. Safety brief, please. The special guest of honor, sir. Other eminent, distinguished, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our host, the chief of the naval staff, Vice Admiral A.Z. Gambo, it is my pleasure to once again welcome all our distinguished, invited guests to the Coronation Hall venue of the Chief of the Naval Staff's Annual Conference 2021, holding in the Asian, Kano, Asian city of Kano for the very first time. Over the course of the next two days of the conference, erudite speakers and subject matter experts would address issues around the theme of this year's conference in a bid to enhance Nigeria's maritime security and improve Nigeria's prosperity. I shall now most respectfully hand over proceedings to the Chief of Policy and Plans, Naval Headquarters, Rear Admiral C.O.R. Ezekobe, to give the opening remarks. The Chief of Policy and Plans, sir. the special guest of honor, His Excellency, 
the governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje. Your Excellency, permit me to stand on the already well-established protocol for this day's event. And permit me also to most respectfully welcome you and all invitees to this year's Chief of the Naval Staff's annual conference. It is my singular honor and privilege to, on behalf of the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Awal Zuberu Gambo, to thank God for all the journey mercies granted to all of you who are here today and wish you favorable deliberations. On this note, Your Excellency, permit me to state that no service is as inextricably, inextricably linked with Nigeria's economic prosperity, safety, national interests, as well as national aspirations like the Nigerian Navy. This is particularly so on account of the protection and facilitation role the service plays across vital sectors of the economy, such as manufacturing, oil and gas, fisheries, aquaculture, shipping, transportation, services, and electricity generation, among others. All of which constitute more than 80% of the nation's gross domestic product. Extending into the Gulf of Guinea, as well as the Af West African subregion, the Nigerian Navy also plays a vital role in the protection of the sea lanes of communication and interdiction of maritime criminality. In tandem with allied navies based on complementary interests of common objectives. Bearing in mind the weight of expectations of the Nigerian Navy and the gravity of the objectives to be achieved, it is therefore altogether surprising that the Nigerian Navy, it's not surprising that the Nigerian Navy instituted a mechanism via the Chief of the Naval Staff's annual conference, CONSAC for short, that would enable sufficient review and analysis of military strategic and grand strategic issues with a view to repositioning the Nigerian Navy for enhanced service delivery. Specifically, it is an abiding testament to the synergizing effects of the CONSAC on the nexus of the Nigerian Navy operations, strategy, technology, and personnel policies that the first CONSAC held in 1987 at Oguta bettered the erstwhile Trident strategy. Most importantly, Nigeria's successes at the ECOMOG operations in the 1990s were facilitated by the Nigerian Navy under the guiding philosophy of the Trident strategy, particularly the provision of strategic sea lift for the Nigerian Army. The utility of the CONSAC could also be seen in the fact that the conference set the stage for Nigerian Navy's fleet renewal and recapitalization efforts based on maintenance and lessons learned in operations. It is thus to the glory of CONSAC that the current improvement of Nigerian Navy's platform, inventory, as well as enhanced operational profile of platforms can be attributed to in part. In the same vein, over the years, the CONSAC has always been at the cutting edge of topical issues. By gauging the dynamics of the strategic environment, wheels devising policies, plans, and processes to meet the current emerging issues. Accordingly, considering the imperatives for optimization of the blue economy for the well-being of Nigerians, and national economic prosperity, it is therefore instructive that CONSAC 2021 is crafted towards enhancing Nigeria's maritime security for improved prosperity. Thus, it is expected that the paper presentations, interactive sessions, and general networking will bring about feasible strategies 
to properly position the Nigerian Navy to foster sustainable exploration and exploitation of the nation's maritime domain, while further amplifying a clear path for Nigerian Navy institutional reforms. As a guiding note, our deliberations as a guiding note during our deliberations, it is worth reiterating that the current fiscal environment demands all hands to be on deck to critically examine every aspect of Nigerian Navy's processes and operations to improve effectiveness and to drive down the cost of operations while not compromising operational efficiency. Thus, it is important that we remain focused on our primary responsibility of managing and continually improving the Nigerian Navy within our various spheres of influence. Furthermore, while bold action is necessary to ensure the achievement of the Nigerian Navy objectives within the overall context of maritime security, the use of realistic appraisal and analysis to manage risk and make prudent choices that align with our resources to the nation's strategic interests is quite overriding. Ultimately, this will ensure that we and future generations will continue to have a Navy to be proud of. Your Excellency, once again, it is my singular honor and privilege to invite you and uh, to welcome you and all invited guests to this year's CONSAC. Thank you and God bless. May we give the Chief of Policy and Plans, Rear Admiral C.O.R. Ezekobe, another round of applause, please. In a short while, I shall be inviting our host, the Chief of the Naval Staff, to give his welcome address. Since assumption of office in January, the Chief of the Naval Staff has come to represent exemplary and focused leadership helping to bequeath a Nigerian Navy equipped to combat contemporary security challenges and aid Nigeria's prosperity at sea. It is on this note that I most respectfully and humbly invite the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Awa Zubair Gambo, Admiralty Medal, Grand Service Star, to the Rostrum to deliver his welcome address. The Chief of the Naval Staff, sir. Our special guest of honor, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, Officer of the Federal Republic. His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State, Dr. Nasiru Yusuf Gauna, the Honorable Speaker, Kano State House of Assembly, Honorable Hamis Ibrahim Chidari, Chairman Senate Committee on the Navy, Senator George Sekibo, ably represented by Senator Elisha Abbo, Chairman House Committee on the Navy, Right Honorable Yusuf Gadgi, distinguished members of the state and national assemblies, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Elio Irabo, Service Chiefs and Representatives of the Inspector General of Police, our Royal Fathers, the Emirs of Kano, Bichi, Gaya, Rano, and Karae, former Chiefs of Defense Staff, Admiral Ibrahim Ogohi and Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim, former chiefs of the naval staff and icons of the Nigerian Navy, 
Vice Admiral Murtala Inyako, Vice Admiral J.O. Ainla, Vice Admiral Ishaya Iko Ibrahim, and Vice Admiral Usman Jibrin, former Chief of Defense Intelligence, Vice Admiral Ajayi, distinguished members of the Kano State Executive Council, former Governor of Kano State, Air Vice Marshal Emin Umar, former Governor of Jigawa State, retired Lieutenant Colonel ASZ Maimalari, Group Managing Director, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Commandants, Commanders and Heads of Military, Paramilitary Security Agencies and Establishments, Your Excellencies, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, General Officers Commanding, Flag Officers Commanding and Air Officers Commanding, Principal Staff Officers at the Naval Headquarters, President and Members of the 36 Regular Corps Association, Captains of Industry and Corporate Friends of the Nigerian Navy, Senior Officers Serving and Retired. There is an omission here by the protocol. Awal Sarki is here, the MD DPR. I will not forget you, my alma mater. You are welcome. Distinguished invited guests, members of the press. Good morning. It is my great pleasure for me on behalf of officers, ratings and civilian staff of the Nigerian Navy to heartily welcome you all to the Nigerian Navy 2021 Chief of the Naval Staff Annual Conference. I would like to begin by especially acknowledging the presence of our special guest of honor, His Excellency the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, Officer of the Federal Republic, who doubles as the Chief Host. May I also most respectfully welcome representatives of Executive Governors here present, distinguished Senators and Honorable Members of Houses of Representatives and Assemblies, Honorable Ministers and Commissioners, the Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs and the Inspector General of Police, Heads of Ministries, Departments and Agencies, our Royal Fathers and other political leaders here present, permit me to equally acknowledge the presence of Koma Chief of Defense Staffs and Service Chiefs, Executives of multinational organizations, Captains, of maritime industries and the academia, very senior serving and retired military officers, and indeed, all our esteemed guests and participants for being part of this important conference. Indeed, it is heartwarming to witness this array of distinguished personalities, political leaders, heads and reps of stakeholders across the nation. This has further established our collaborative commitment towards finding solutions to the maritime security challenges in our common resource. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, let me state here that this conference is organized as one of the programs lined up for this year to ensure the Nigerian Navy meets its constitutional roles. It is therefore important for me at this juncture to stress the import of organizing this conference. As you are aware, the Nigerian Navy is saddled with the mandate to secure a maritime environment which possesses strategic importance to the nation's economy. As such, the current security threats in the environment are of serious concern to all of us gathered here today, as well as the larger Nigerians. What is perhaps more disturbing is that much of the criminal activities in our maritime environment are directed at the economic lifeline of Nigeria. 
In other words, the scourge of illegality such as sea robbery, piracy, crude oil theft, poaching, human and illicit trafficking of weapons and drugs, among others, constitutes serious challenges to the development of the country and the region at large. Characteristically, the marine threats have become of major concern and are evolving and challenging the combat capability of the Nigerian Navy and other stakeholders. Looking at most of the recent happenings, especially the one posed by the global pandemic, leading to the economic challenges, leading to the economic um, challenges of our current time, pandemic and um, implications for the emerging security station is the that of effective collaboration in maritime policing. The present situation thus calls for constant reappraisal, greater collaboration, as well as interagency cooperation among stakeholders. In recent times, some federal and local initiatives were initiated towards ensuring greater productivity of security efforts. These initiatives testify to the political level commitment to security and developmental imperatives in our maritime domain. Other initiatives in the recent past include the just concluded Nigerian Navy retreat, maritime stakeholders and regional maritime awareness capability conferences with clearly defined communique and implementation guidelines. I must also acknowledge the positive contribution of the local community, other sister agencies, to ensuring safety in our maritime environment. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that in the great recent past, a huge capability gap has emerged among the stakeholders in the efficient discharge of their constitutional mandates. I therefore believe, I therefore believe that this conference will provide a veritable platform to provide workable solution in fine-tuning Nigerian Navy efforts at securing our maritime environment. It is hoped that this forum will facilitate the needed discourse towards identifying viable concepts and constructive collaborative action plans that will support this strategic level initiative. It is against this backdrop that the theme of this conference Enhancing Nigeria's maritime security for improved prosperity was conceptualized. The objective of the conference, therefore, is to elicit proper understanding and develop strategies that will enhance our collective effort to meet present and emerging maritime security challenges in our strategic environment. As I always say, no single ministry department or agency can do it alone. I would like to therefore urge us all to be pragmatic in our deliberations that will lead us to preferring practical solutions that are implementable in the immediate, short, medium, and long terms. At this point, may I once again sincerely appreciate our esteemed chief host, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, Officer of the Federal Republic, for extending his sincere hospitality of the state to this distinguished audience. <clears throat> Let me also acknowledge and thank all the distinguished personalities, organizations, and friends of the Nigerian Navy that have contributed in one way or the other to make this conference a reality. To our distinguished invited guests, it is my hope that you will make our time, make our time to savour the wonderful hospitality and delight of this great and ancient city of Kano. Finally, I wish your excellencies, distinguished guests and participants, successful deliberations. Once more, I welcome you all to the 2021 Chief of the Naval Staff Annual Conference. Thank you all and God bless us. Onwards together.
It is now my singular honor and privilege to invite His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, Officer of the Federal Republic, to please deliver his keynote address. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State, Dr. Nasru Yusuf Gauna, the Secretary to Kano State Government, Al Haji Usman Al Haji, and the Waziri of Gaya Emirate Council. Distinguished members of the state and national assemblies who are here with us, the Chief of Defense Staff, General LEO Irabo, our host, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral AZ Gambo, Service Chiefs and the Inspector General of Police, ably represented our royal fathers, the Emirs of Kano, Bichi, Gaya, Eldono, and Karai, ably represented respectively, former Chief of Defense Staff, Admiral I. Gohi, and Admiral O. S. Ibrahim, former Chief of Naval Staff, and icons of the Navy, Vice Admiral M. A. H. Nyako, my senior brother, Jabwawa, Vice Admiral J. O. Angela, Vice Admiral Tu Ibrahim, and Vice Admiral U. O. Jibrin, distinguished members of the Kano State Executive Council, former governor of Kano State, AVM, MN Umaru, commandants, commanders, and the head of military, paramilitary, security, and paramilitary agencies and establishments, your excellencies, members of the diplomatic corps who are here, GOC, FOCs, and the AOCs, PSOs of the Naval Headquarters, President and members of the Statistic Regular Course Association, Captains of Industry and Corporate Friends of the Nigerian Navy, Senior Officers, Serving and Retired, Distinguished Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Peace be upon you all. I am delighted to be in your midst today on this auspicious occasion of the 2021 Chief of the Naval Staff Annual Conference. With a joyful heart, I facilitate with the entire Nigerian Navy family, including its amiable leadership, officers, and ratings on this annual conference. I am exceedingly glad to be here today in the midst of distinguished personalities from the maritime industry gathered for a common purpose of finding implementable solutions to some of the security challenges in Nigerian maritime environment. I cannot fail to acknowledge the importance of your presence at this conference, which is a true indication of the much desired collaborative commitment to achieving the aforementioned purpose. I therefore join the Chief of the Naval Staff to welcome you all to this important conference. The significance of this conference can best be appreciated through recognizing the nexus that exists between having a secure maritime domain and the socio-economic development of the nation. The Nigeria's maritime environment is known to hold a good percentage 
of Africa's oil production and significant percent of the continent proven resources. It is a major source of food stock supply as it boasts all of some of the commitments, richest and abundant fisheries, a vital source of protein need consumed locally and internationally. The region is also a hub of extensive transatlantic trade linking Africa with Europe, the Americas, as well as the Middle East and the rest of Asia. From the foregoing, it is apparent that Nigeria's maritime environment is endowed with numerous living and non-living resources, which, if carefully explored and managed, can contribute tremendously to the prosperity, peace, and stability of not just the country, but other nations that depend on our such resources within the region and beyond. However, this is not the case due to the prevalence of various maritime crimes such as piracy, kidnapping, crude oil theft, and illegal oil bunkering, as well as illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing in our own maritime environment. The aforementioned maritime crimes hinder the ability of the country to effectively explore and manage the resources and opportunities contained therein for our own economic livelihood, prosperity, peace and stability as well as for the benefits of neighboring countries and regions. The common impact of maritime insecurities on the economic livelihood, prosperity, peace and stability of Nigeria, both within and immediate environment, brings to force the initiation of various collective responses and interventions at national and stakeholders' levels to tackle the menace. While acknowledging and appreciating the achievements of the various collective responses and interventions, I must commend the Nigerian Navy for creating this platform for intellectual discourse tailored towards enhancing the collective maritime security architecture of the country. This conference, therefore, symbolizes strategic collaborative initiative between the Nigerian Navy and other maritime stakeholders. It also presents a potent strategy to expose measures to mitigate the increasing maritime insecurities in the immediate environment in order to enhance economic development of the country. It is on this note that the theme of the 2021 conference, Enhancing Nigeria's Maritime Security for Improved National Prosperity, is considered apt and timely. The theme is well thought out to examine the nexus between Nigeria's maritime security and socio-economic development in the country, with particular focus on cooperation and collaboration among maritime stakeholders within the country. Let me, at this point, bring to limelight the kind of state experience and journey so far in making our state safe. Our administration has adopted proactive measures and workable strategies towards addressing security challenges in the state, which include, one, constituting a joint task force on security comprising military and paramilitary organizations, which works in good synergy in handling security issues in Kano State. <laughs> Two, establishment of a multi-million Naira advanced police communication center at Police Command Bampai, Kano, to track criminals for the overall security and development of the state in particular and the country at large. Three, deployment of information communication technology ICT approach to tackle the memnays of kidnapping and other criminalities through the use of one of the best tracking devices in the country. Four, convening monthly security council meetings with or without security threats. At this point, it is important to mention that 
our state security council is expanded one including the police the dss the air force the army the civil defense custom immigration correctional home federal road safety our own local traffic managers carota ndla the agency in charge of human trafficking navdac all these are related security outfits which when put together and exchange ideas and strategies you will get the whole arena of the security situation in the state five constructing of military training area at falgore forest and provision of security dormitories among others we assure you right from our office we can view what is happening in falgore forest day and night we have also established a robust community policing in the state where we set up communities at various levels to facilitate effective implementation of the scheme our revived traditional institution our ulama and other stakeholders have been deeply involved in the scheme as reflected in the five layer community policing structure we have in the state the five lay layer structure include each village has a security committee then we have each ward with a community policing committee headed by the most senior village head each local government has a security committee that is the community policing committee each emirate has a community policing committee and the overall community policing committee at state level headed by the secretary to the state government distinguished participants this and many more time which time will not allow me to enumerate all the same of our modest achievements in the area of security other sectors such as health agriculture education women and youth empowerment are equally given the required attention also on infrastructural development we are able to construct standard road networks and several flyovers and underpasses which assist in easing traffic flow across the state and in addition to beautifying and modernizing our ancient city of kano as well as improving business activities i am of the belief that these are the reasons for enjoying peaceful coexistence among diverse ethnic religious groups in kano state and make state the most secured and peaceful in this country despite our cosmopolitan nature and mass population i assure you that these efforts will not end it here only we are determined to ensure that the temple is sustained and make the topmost priority of our remaining administration distinguished participants at this stage i would like to charge you all to relentlessly bring your wealth of experience in the maritime sector to be here in the deliberation at this important conference as earlier stated the successful eradication of maritime crimes in the nigerians maritime environment is collect a collective responsibility of every stakeholders maritime security agency and indeed everyone seated here today in this hall as such i want to implore each and every one present today to take ownership of this conference it is only by doing this that deliberations during the conference can yield implementable strategies to enhance nigeria's maritime security synergy for sustainable socio economic development in our country on our part i assure you that this present administration is determined to support and implementation of the resolutions of this conference as well as all initiatives 
towards ensuring maritime security and good order in the country. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I acknowledge with appreciation the presence of everyone at this conference of national importance. I wish you all fruitful deliberations geared towards ensuring collaborative maritime security for the prosperity, peace, and stability of Nigeria and beyond. While attending the conference, please endeavor to create time to appreciate and enjoy the colorful sights and sounds as well as the rich cultural heritage of our host city, Kano City. At this juncture, it is my singular honor and pleasure to declare the 2021 Chief of the Naval Staff Annual Conference open. Thank you and God bless. And God bless. Very specially congratulate the Chief of the Naval Staff for not just organizing and hosting this conference here in Kano, but also chronicling a book or on indeed developing the security conscious mindset, which of course is a book that speaks to the necessity of everyone in Nigeria or within our geographic space currently to know in order to be able to contribute in one way or the other to the solutions to our problems currently. And so I'm honored to review the book which he co-authored with Adebayo. Is this the mission of the armed forces of Nigeria to positively contribute to the overall security landscape of the country? Hence, Subjects or issues on security are highly considered by not just the chief of defense staff, which I am, of which I am, but equally the entire leadership hierarchy of the armed forces and other security agencies. And so having been in the armed forces of Nigeria with Vice Admiral Ezad Gambo for over three decades, my perception of his grasp on security matters has never wavered. Being an executive officer, he also took interest in becoming an intelligence officer. Of course, that gave him varied experiences that today is playing out in his leadership of the Nigerian Navy. He has continuously and continually demonstrated excellent capacity in this field reflecting the self-development attested to by the qualifications and experience he has acquired over the years. The book is a scholarly piece of work which focuses on security education in Nigeria. And I think today, our country, everyone needs security education. The authors observe the general lack of individual security consciousness in the country and considered this as an anomaly to the overall security architecture. Accordingly, the book was segmented into three parts, which contains information targeted at three distinct audiences. The first, the armed forces, and then the other law enforcement agencies, and the general populace, who may desire to acquire some tips on their personal and environmental security. I do not think that anyone, it has become a, a, a question of choice. I believe that currently it leaves no one with any choice but to acquire these tips on personal safety and security. The expertise of the authors in communicating concepts and ideas across the chapters is a simple and easy to understand manner was equally apparent in the book. And I think that as you get a copy today and peruse, you will get this in, indeed in it. And so, the book is indeed a must read for everyone. Now, in this era of inclusivity towards addressing the myriad of security challenges, what 
individuals, in citizens, and of course other compatriots required to know are already chronicled in this book. And it's on that note that the expectation that the reader will be able to digest the concept in this book and have a partnership on their previous ideas and outlook about the subject of security is well conversed. The book is therefore considered a valuable knowledge and training resource and companion in the journey of developing a security conscious mindset. And to this extent, I'd like to um, direct that across our training establishment, that a copy of this book should be made available to add to the body of knowledge that we have and really um, bringing up our younger ones on security consciousness matters. I therefore acknowledge the painstaking effort of the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral A.Z. Gambo, and the co-author, Mr. Abiodun Adebanjo, who brought this book to life. I therefore recommend the book to everyone with a desire to improve their knowledge and awareness in the field of security. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you very much, sir. I will now be inviting our distinguished invited guest who will be joining the special guest of honor to unveil the book. It's on this note, I'll first call on the co-author of the book, Mr. Abiodun Adebanjo, to please join us on the stage. Please round of applause for the co-author as he joins us on the stage. On this note, I want to most respectfully invite, most respectfully invite our host and the co-author of the book, the chief of the naval staff, to invite the special guest of honor, deputy governor, the speaker, Colonel State House of Assembly, the chief of army staff, the chief of air staff, representative of the inspector general of police, Admiral Inyako, Admiral Ayinla, Admiral O.S. Ibrahim. Admiral I. I. Ibrahim, Vice Admiral Ajayi, the Chairman, um, Senate Committee on the Navy, and the Chairman, House Committee on the Navy, to join the Special Guest of Honor on the stage and support in unveiling the book written by the Chief of Nawasta, Chief of Nawasta, sir. So I crave the indulgence of our eminent, distinguished, invited guests that I've mentioned to please join us on and support his Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, to unveil the book. I also invite the group managing director, NNPC, to please join us on the stage. Um, sir. Please a round of applause as he joins us. I also call on the MD, CEO, um, Department of Veterinary Resources, to also please join us. May I also most respectfully invite the representative of the Emir of Kano to please join us on the stage. Please a round of applause as his eminence joins us on the stage. Having invited all our eminent, distinguished, invited guests, I'll now hand over to the special guest of honor to conduct the unveiling of the book. The special guest of honor. Thank you very much. On behalf 
of the author of this book and the co-author of the book as well and also on behalf of the convener of this conference that is our Sean of the Shoy <laughs> Vice Admiral AZ I would like to unveil this very important document which is educative especially during our challenges security challenges in Nigeria Bismillah Rahman Rahim Please yes. a round of applause as His Excellency the Executive Governor unveils the books supported by other very distinguished very important personalities here present I haven't unveiled the book the chief of the novel staff, the co-author of the book, will now present signed copies to all our very important personalities on the stage. I crave the indulgence of our very important persons to allow the chief of the novel staff to present the signed copies of the book to the special guest of honor and other very important personalities here today. May I also inform our eminent, very important personalities that will crave indulgence to please hold out the book at the end of the presentation where we'll have a group photograph with the book entitled Developing a Security Conscious Mindset, authored by the Chief of the Naval Staff, and Mr. Adebanjo. Um, photographers, I know if you're ready, let us know so that we would um, arrange for the photograph. It's indeed no mean feat to author a book, particularly considering how very tight the schedule of the Chief of Naval Staff is. I haven't confirmed that everyone on stage has the book. I crave the indulgence of um, the Special Guest of Honor and other very distinguished eminent personalities on the stage to please take their, take their place so that we can have a group photograph with the author and the co-author of the book. Sir, with everyone, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. So can we just hold the book, sir, out, sir? No, sir. On the stage, sir. Just behind the books. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Just display the book, sir, and I will take a picture. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Please a resounding round of applause as the special guest of honor and other very distinguished invited guests make their way back to their respective seats. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Please, can we give them another round of applause as they make their way to their seats? Without wasting any more time, in appreciation of all our very eminent personalities that have taken our time out of their very busy schedule to be with us today, the chief of the naval staff will be making token presentations to select members of the front row um, in no particular order. On this note, may I most respectfully and humbly invite the chief of the naval staff, Vice Admiral Ezred Gambo, to come forward and perform the function.
the first presentation goes to the special guest of honor for today's event, the His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullah Umar Gandije. Please a round of applause for our amiable special guest of honor who has been with us since yesterday up until today. The next presentation is to His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State, Dr. Nasiru Gauna. Next presentation is to the speaker, Honorable Speaker, Kano State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Amisu Ibrahim Chideri. Next is to the Chairman, Senate Committee on Navy, Senator Elisha Abu. Next is to the Chairman, House Committee on Navy, Honorable Yusuf Gatti. Next is to the review of the book and the Chief of Defense Staff, General Leo Irabo. The next presentation is to the Chief of Armed Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Iaya. <laughs> next is to the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal I.O. Amau. The last presentation is to the representative of the Inspector General of Police, AIG Sadiq Abaka Bello. Please may we give the, our host, the Chief of Nava Staff, another round of applause. Thank you very much, sir, for helping to make those presentations. Didn't, I know the day has been far spent. And going by our program, the next item is a group photograph followed by a tea break. Owing to COVID restrictions, as well as space constraints, it will not be possible to have everyone join in the group photograph. Only rear admirals and equivalents in other services will be joining for the photo, will be joining the special guest of honor and other distinguished invited guests on the front row for the group photograph on the stand at the right, just immediately outside the right side of the hall. While we are taking the photographs, permit me to inform members of the audience that there's a tea break and there are tea stands at the rear of the hall. For those of us that want to take some snacks and tea, we can make our ways there while the group photograph is going on. It's on this note that I craved indulgence Before I invite the Chief of Policy and Plans to help lead the, our very important personalities, permit me to make this announcement again. The group photograph, owing to COVID regulations and space constraints, would only involve rear admirals 
and equivalent some other services and the very important personalities on the front row would be joining the special guest of honor and the host the the chief of the naval staff for the group photograph it's on this note that i most respectfully invite the chief of policy and plans to help lead the dignitaries on the front row to join for the group photograph 